Howdy ho, Arkansas Pilgrim here again. This time I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to make some hot sauce using the cayenne peppers that I've picked. Well, my family and I really like Tapatio hot sauce. It actually, uh, kicked Tabasco uh, out of the house. Uh, don't even have any anymore. And uh, so I would like to try to make a sauce that's similar to that. So I've looked up uh, copycat recipes for Tapatio uh, or cayenne pepper sauce recipes online. This is what I found. The best copycat Tapatio sauce recipe. And it says... Uh, you know, a bunch of instructions here, but basically the uh, ingredients are, uh, it's got like a pound of Fresno chilies and a half a pound of red peppers. Well, I've got cayenne peppers, which are red peppers, at least, well, most of them are red. I'm just going to use all cayenne. And it's got distilled vinegar, 15 tablespoons, which, by the way, that's one tablespoon short of just a cup. So if you're going to do this recipe, you just scoop up a cup and then you know, take a tablespoon out of it and pour it back into the container. Or you just use a full cup and don't worry about the one-sixteenth of a difference. Anyway, uh, you got peppers, vinegar, water, salt, and garlic, which is, if you read hot sauce labels, that's what a lot of them say, except for they also say spices, which is really the trick, I guess. So... Well, I'm going to follow this recipe. I've got about, uh, this is a pound and a half of, of peppers. I've got just a little bit, that, that works out to 24 ounces. I've got just about 11 ounces of peppers. So I'm just going to half this recipe about. So, and the, the instructions here, or destructions as I call them a lot, say basically to grill the peppers first then blend them with some vinegar, then strain and mash them, and just use the liquid that you get out. And tapatio is a rather watery uh, salsa, watery for thin, I guess is a way to put it. So uh, I'm assuming that you know that's what we're going to end up you know, with most of, and we'll just have some solids left. Hopefully the pureeing will uh, go well. And you just combine it and then let it sit in the fridge for a few days. That seems pretty easy. Uh, let's see if there's anything tricky here. Um, well, if there is, I'll find out as I'm going along. So there, let's get to work. Okay. I've taken the tops off of all the chilies. Um, I didn't cut it off cause I wanted to, well, I wanted to use as most, as much of the chili I had that is possible. This is kind of a mixture of some, um, uh, cayenne peppers that I picked. Um, actually a little while ago and it was going to let turn red because of something I read on the internet, which I'm now ignoring and some ones that I just picked that were already turned red. So I just want to get as much pepper out of it as possible. Hopefully the little bit of stem there at the end is, doesn't matter. It's going to get all chopped up and pureed anyway. So now the first step though is going to be to roast and I'm going to need to coat the uh, peppers with olive oil first. Didn't say how much to use, so I'm just putting a couple of gloves in there, and I'm gonna mix it around till they get coated. Then I'm gonna go ahead and roast them. Um, not in the grill, but I'm gonna use the broiler in my oven. All right, now I've gotta put the chilies, the Tabasco, not Tabasco, the uh, cayenne peppers. I'm gonna get them spread out on this, on this, uh, rack to broil them, grill them, roast them, what do you want to call it? Um, the, uh, if you remember looking at the recipe, it had, I had two different kinds of chilies in there and it said to, uh, you know, for the, the, the Fresno chilies, I guess it just had you, you know, doing this. And, yeah, but it said for the red peppers to, uh, actually go ahead and cut the, make sure you cut the stem off and then the cut them into wedges. Well, I'm not going to do that. And I have a specific culinary reason for not doing so. And that is because, um, I forgot to do it before I covered them with the oil and I want to go to the, all the hassle of doing it 
when they're covered with oil and making a mess. So that's why I'm not going to do it. And to be honest, I can't see why it would make a difference anyway. So once you get these all arranged, I'm going to go ahead and pop them under the broiler. And well, arranged doesn't matter as long as they're just not on top of each other. And throw them under the broiler and uh, get them roasted. All righty, got the peppers roasted. And now we need to put them into uh, gotta put them into a blender and blend them up. But hey, well, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, I've got them in the blender, and the destructions say to you know, use plenty of vinegar. I don't know why using all of it wouldn't be a problem, but I put in most of it. Go ahead and get these, oops, oops, wrong way. Get these things chopped up. I mean, this is what I ended up with, um, and the destructions say, you know, to go through a sieve, so, you know, to get the, the liquid out, and you are, I mean, I, there's no liquid on I mean, there, I guess there's liquid in here, and it's just, uh, oh, it's pretty darn, pretty darn thick, I guess, I may try to sieve it, I may just add some wa water to thin it down, I don't know. Oh uh, well, I got uh, been messing around with this for a while. I decided not to try to to uh, strain it because it, there was nothing hardly to strain. It you was know, getting a small amount of kind of paste out of the bottom, and it's like you know that's not going to do all the work for that. So I ended up adding. You're supposed to add at least another. You know the destruction say to have you know one more tablespoon of water to it, but that's like after it's strained and. And then you add the salt and garlic, and this is all after it's drained. And it's like, no, that's not working. So I went ahead and added a, like a quarter of a cup of water, um, which is three more tablespoons than it says. And I'm going to be adding some more to thin this out. And I don't know if some of the solids end up settling. I don't know. I'm going to have to mess around with it for a while. But uh, I'll uh, after I mess around with it, hey, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what it ends up like. All righty, I went ahead and added like three total of three quarters of a cup of water. I ended up making a pint of this stuff, and it's still pretty darn thick, you can see. And I was expecting this, considering I was, you know, trying to do a tapatio knockoff, something really watery. But anyway, I'm going to, and, and actually, it, um, oops. it doesn't really taste bad. It's hot. It just has some flavor, but... It does seem to be missing something, but I'm going to go ahead and let it ruminate in the refrigerator for a while, which is, I think that's even part of the recipe anyway. And then we'll see, we'll see how it tastes. I may even, you know, eat, eat it on something and compare it to my, well, compare it to my tapatio um, and at least uh, see the flavor difference. And then maybe I'll add something to this and, you know, do some more experimenting, but uh, hey, that's for another time. Uh, hey, thanks for following along. God bless y'all. See you next time.